Hello, welcome back. About to go on a little bit of a boat ride here in Venice, starting from the B&B. Uh, Andrea, very kindly here, has uh, agreed Hi. to, or offered to uh, take me on a little ride. So looking forward to it. The weather's picked up. It's beautiful now with blue sky. Passing my bedroom, kind of interesting to see it from the perspective of the canal. You can see the sign saying no entry. Yes. <laughs> the rules of Venice boat traffic. So we've broken out of the main city of Venice. In the distance over there is Murano, famous for the artisans and glass work, and also the city cemetery just there. And now feeling the fresh air. The Venice hospital just there, on the edge of the city for easy boat access as well. You can see the emergency port just here where the boats will dock you may also be able to see in this shot in the very very distance is Burano which is the colorful rainbow looking village that you can also go to especially in times when Venice is very busy and you want to go somewhere quieter it's a great trip to make across here you should be careful on some of these boat rides if you stand up because the bridge can be a little bit high. Although in this case, I'm just about all right. We're now through into San Marco Bay. One of the main areas of Venice, you can see everything from here. St. George Island, and you can see St. Mark's Campinale, Dodge's Palace, Basilica de Santa Maria at the end. There are barely any water taxis or boats around us. As such, there is no big waves. I'm told that normally there are huge waves here because there's just too many boats trying to compete for space all around it. So, empty, amazing. Here you can see the boatyard where they work on repairing the boats and building them and fixing them. You can actually sit here and eat chiquetti while you watch the workers do their repairs. We're now out on the Grand Canal, the Ponte de Academia from yesterday as well, over there. This is the main highlight really, coming down here. Just stunning viewing, old buildings at every angle on either side of you, history everywhere you look.
Rialto market open in the mornings as we leave the Grand Canal the Ponte de Rialto just behind us and into one of the smaller alleys So I'm now back here in my room in Aloscuero and wow, what more to say. Andrea said to me earlier on today, let's go at 5 p.m. for a little boat ride around Venice. And when he said little boat ride, I thought he was just going to take me around some of the smaller canals near the B&B. But boy, was I wrong. He took me absolutely everywhere for over an hour, he and his wife and we went through the Grand Canal even, to the other side of Venice, past so many iconic places and a once in a lifetime unforgettable experience. So I hope you enjoyed watching it. And tomorrow I'm gonna to do a Venice food tour. I'm gonna to go around and try some of the local cuisine at some of the city's most famous places. So stay tuned if you're interested in seeing my food tour of Venice. And I'll see you then, peace. Mm -hmm.